boys, the lads, Bantan, Bantan boys, Bantan Sonia and Dan, BTS, BTS, back at it again. They can't stop, they just keep giving content, this time not directly, indirectly, featuring on a track, which is rare, they don't really, they don't really feature on tracks at all, actually, they don't, they don't do that ever. Uh, but Lauv was on their tracks, and I guess they're on his track. This is this is called Who, uh, featuring them. I'm not sure how this is going to be, uh, because I think that Lauv has a good voice. I think he has a unique voice, a unique sounding voice. But I'm not sure his voice exactly goes with all the members in the band, in the group. Uh, I liked his version of Make It Right when they made a collab with him, but I, I do prefer the OG to, to the remix version. But let's get to this anyway. Hopefully it's good. They've basically guaranteed Lauv a huge amount of sales with this song because BTS are in it. But let's get to it. Hopefully it's a banger. Let's go. Oh, so it's actually a video. It's like a still video. John Cook. Don't lie to me, I just got in my head. When the morning comes, you're still in my bed. But it's so, so calm. Who are you? Cause you're not the girl I fell in love with. Who are you? Cause you're not the girl. Well, I rather liked that actually. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it, um, but I think that she did a really good job at it. Not just BTS, but the song itself. I think I'm a, I'm gonna be listening to that. I think it, it might have some gym qualities to it. I might be able to to bloody run to that or, or cycle to that at least. There's there's aspects to it which I really did enjoy. Uh, Lau's voice, I think, as I said at the beginning, is a very unique sounding voice. I think it fits with a lot of stuff. And th in this specific song, it seems like they didn't go with all of BTS, even though it says featuring BTS. It probably should have said featuring Jimin and Jungkook of BTS because it, it was only those two. It wasn't like everyone was involved in this. Maybe they were involved, like maybe RM was involved in some type of producing, you know, in that, in that type of, uh, role he was like a producer or something like that but it was just Jimin and, and John Gook and they sounded great I mean obviously they were singing in English but you could understand what they were saying fully there was no misunderstanding I don't think in terms of 
what they were saying and what was being translated across is in uh, from the way they were saying it so I think it sounded really really good I think it was obviously just an audio it was him just singing lip syncing to the song so you know video wise the quality was what it was but the song itself not bad it did oddly have this strange BTS vibe to it though you know even before Jimin and Jungkook came into the song prior to that it had this tonality to it where I was like I could see this have have being been a BTS song the way it was the way the chords were in it the way it was structured as a song it sort of sounded a bit like a BTS song and then when they started singing in it I was like oh yeah this is BTS straight up so I don't know if Lauv made this song or if he made it in conjunction with them or if BTS might have produced this song themselves like and then they gave it to Lauv to do because that's how mu musicians and artists work they, they write songs they write a lot of songs and then if they don't want to perform it themselves if they think that someone else is better suited to the song then they give the song away or they sell the song in more likely instances and uh, they sell the song to other artists other record labels and the record label will fil filter it through and find an artist to give the song to that is un unless of course you write your own music which I'm pretty sure both these people do BCS and and Lauv so interesting uh, interesting song definitely has a lot of good vibes to it I felt it I really, really uh, got into it. So it's definitely a repeat listen. Who knows? I might download this. It does have, I don't know. I liked it a lot. I did really, really enjoy it. You just got like engrossed in it just by the audio itself. And that wasn't even without any, any visual component to it with a, you know, gripping video or anything. It was just the audio and you just felt like you were there and you were listening and believing to it. So uh, good stuff there. The boys killed it. The boys did good and love. Love. Maybe people will not start, not be sleeping on you as much anymore because I think a lot of people do. It's sort of a banger, you know. It makes it a lot of good music. Anyway, guys, my voice is going. I don't want that to carry on. But if you did enjoy this video, then please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then I don't know. Who? 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 Doctor Who themselves will come after you. I don't know which Doctor Who I'm going to say there. Pretty much a dying franchise at this point. Capaldi didn't do a great job and Jodie Whittaker also is not doing a great job but you know it's not all their fault it's the writing as well as everything else the storytelling has gotten shit since Matt Smith left and yeah they'll come after you man he's one of the most dangerous people in the universe that's what I just said he I'm gonna get killed because the doctor is a she now but it's not really a she because he's an alien I said he now again doctor will come after you you don't want that. You really don't, so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. And I've been Narendra the Comic. You have been great. I'll see you next time. That's tomorrow if you don't know yet. If you don't know, I make a video every day. Yeah, most people don't know that because <laughs> no one knows who I am. But I do indeed make a video every single day. And we are not stopping until we get to 10,000 subscribers. If you question my commitment, I've been doing this for over 650 days now with a video every day. And I'm not stopping. Nope, 10,000 subscribers is in my head, and we're going to get there eventually. One way or another, we're going to hit that milestone. And then it might, I mean, I don't know why that's the number, but that's the number in my head at least, and we will go from there. But uh, I'll be here tomorrow. I'm here every day. I'm here every day with some more quality shitty content, because that is what we do. If, you don't, if, if, there, if there's one thing for sure, for certain, quality shitty content on the daily, on the regular, every day, bro. Indeed. It's quality shitty content though. See you tomorrow. I'll be here. I'm never not here. <laughs> A mini breakdown ensues. I'm gonna circumvent that. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Skadoosh.